Hi, I'm David Payton. I'm actually in um, a 10 year old revegetation site on Kangaroo Island, which is known as Signa Park. So 10 or so years ago, if you came here, this would have been a grassy field. So all the plants around us have come back in the last 10 years. This area here was planted in 2011. It's now being used by wildlife, particularly birds. And one of the things we're really interested in doing is making sure that the habitats get put back, actually support the birds that um, we're targeting. So uh, there are a number of ways you could go about censusing the birds on this, this property. You could have a whole lot of two hectare areas dotted around the place and you could go to those and score them and spend 20 minutes in each and that's a standard survey technique. You could do line transects and score the birds along a line um, running through the property. But what we do is actually area search the whole area. Instead of just two hectares, it's a 300 hectare farm, we systematically work across the whole 300 hectares. And when we find the birds, we collect a lot of additional information which normally isn't collected during those censuses. For example, uh, the type of plant they're in, what they're doing in that, that plant, feeding, resting, maybe breeding, etc, etc. So we get a lot of additional information on these birds. And we also use a GPS to actually pinpoint the location of those birds. Uh, we can download the information off the GPS later, but the beauty of that is we can then map where the birds are across the property. With the other techniques, you're only sampling a small part of the property, so therefore you're not going to collect uh, systematic data across the whole area. It might just by chance have areas you've chosen to use. Those birds don't use them. Um, and for some of the species, rest of flycatchers in this area here, we still have a couple of birds hanging around. It's always been at that number, but we want to know where they are, what they're using. Scarlet robins is probably about maybe eight to ten pairs total on this property. But we also like to know where they're using it. So one of the great challenges doing bird sensors, and, and I often have students who come and ask me, why can't I come and do your survey? Well, you really need to know your bird calls. In this sort of dense vegetation here, if you don't know what the call is, then you're going to be up against it because you often can't get a good view of what the bird is doing. And you know, identifying what those plants are which they're using is actually really critical here. There'll be certain types of plants which are more important. We're currently in an area which has a few eucalypts amongst it, but it's got Alocasurina, this is narrow-leafed Mallee, there's uh, Acacia provinciale. There's a whole suite of different species here. Um, it's almost like a smorgasbord for birds, and we can then use that information to say, yep, this are the ones which they like to use. So what we're trying to find out here is exactly the types of habitats different species like. And that then can inform the planting to do both on the Kangaroo Island but also elsewhere in terms of which plant species you do, what the density of those plants should be, what the structural layers should be. And we try then to replicate what we think are the best quality features of the habitats they're currently using in the other habitats going forward. So if you come out to a planting festival with us, then you might see there's a whole lot of plants I have no idea how they've arranged these plants. Well, we're actually basing that on our understanding of what birds have used in the past. So the challenge for youngsters coming in is, you know, observing birds is more than just using your eyes, it's using your ears. Um, it's, it's actually using all those senses to try and determine where to go. And for area searches, that's really important because you don't want to keep counting the same birds again. So you want to keep an ear on, okay, I've counted that bird on that side. I'm over here now, so I'm going to focus on these particular birds here. So it, it's a skill um, and it takes time to get. And the only way you can get those skills, you've got to go off and just do it.